Hey, welcome. I'm Greg Stevens to this very special Labor Day broadcast of Victory Update. If you saw us last Thursday with Pastor Paul Brady from Tulsa, Oklahoma, wow. What a moment that was. We're gonna slip into that, that message and that sermon and that anointing right now. So what I've done, and I know not everybody wants to do this, but I have turned off the news. Mm. I have turned off most of anything that I can possibly hear. Now there's current affairs, but I've turned it off. Why? Because I have dulled the noise so that I could intensify or that I could literally laser the voice of God in me so that I would not get caught up in this, you know, this because this wants to frustrate you. This wants to infuriate you. This wants to just get you off on a tangent. And this is what we want to talk about. But the Spirit of the Lord in prayer says, now, if you will do that, you'll get off course and you'll take everybody off course with you. you but if you will pray in the Spirit, you'll come up. Then in the Spirit, these things will not affect you like they do other people because your flesh will be subdued. And this is what we have been doing. Karen and myself, you know, guys, the team, is that praying in the Spirit, you know, I love it in Jude 20, it says that when you pray in the Spirit, you rise as an edifice higher and higher. That means you're not trapped to this scenario. Listen, this, this, this theater, this, this stage that is playing out, this show that's playing out, mm. I don't want to be watching this. I don't want to be listening to the rhetoric. I don't want to be listening to the same old, same old all the time. So I choose as a born again, spirit filled believer that I've been access to the throne room, right? We're seated at the right yes, hand of the yes, Father, right. far above all principalities yes. and powers. So when I'm listening to the news down here, I could be listening to news that has been uh, infiltrated by principalities and powers, news that is, you know, puppeteers, all of those different things. Amen. So I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to listen to the song of the enemy. I don't want to listen to that rhetoric. Now I learned this years ago, back in my police days, amen, that you cannot listen too much to what the enemy has to say, because you can become like a grasshopper in your own eyes. And that's scripture right there. And their heart so melted with your heart the melts. And that's, that's the it. thing. That's so, the intimidation. And the, but that's what the world, what happening in the world, because we continually listen to the size of the issue, the size of the problems. People are beginning to melt in their own hearts and become downsized. Yes. So the enemy's plan is to downsize the church, but I'm telling you by Jesus that's Christ, right. the power of the spirit. Amen. Well, you mentioned isolation and fear. That's the two things he's using against us. Uh, in the name of Jesus, it Amen. will not prevail. It will not prevail. We're talking with Paul Brady and you're watching Victory Update. Yep. We're going to take a praise break with David and the band. We're gonna come back and we're gonna have some prophetic prayer for you.
Amen. There's an anointing in this room today, and I believe there's an anointing in your room as well. Listen, call the prayer number 877-281-6297. Our guest today is uh, Paul Brady, mtulsa.com, Living Rivers Millennial Church. But Kurt, you're at the prayer center. What's happening? Absolutely, Pastor Greg. You know, I want to encourage all of you that are watching right now. Pastor Paul said something so powerful. The time is now. There's not a time before a couple minutes ago. The time is now. Now is the time. And we want to encourage you to call in to connect with our licensed prayer ministers so they can come in agreement in faith, believing for your healing. People are calling in Pastor Greg for healing in so many different areas. The phone lines are ringing. Also, I want to encourage you to rise up and stand firm. Pastor Paul said that to rise up. Some of you feel like you're, you're defeated, you're beat down, but I want to encourage you today to rise up. And as Pastor Paul gets ready to minister here the next few moments, I want to encourage you to share, those of you that are watching on Facebook, over 4,000 people are watching right now on Dish, Roku, YouTube, Direct TV, Facebook, all of our different outlets. And we want to encourage you now to share this with a friend, share this with a loved one, get on the phone, say, hey, you got to watch what is about to happen here because we're going to minister to you right through this camera lens. And I believe Pastor Paul has a now word for you. So we'll call, you want to call 877-281-6297. We have team members that are on Facebook right now coming in agreement with you for whatever you may need. So give us a call today so we can pray for you. Pastor Greg. Thank, thanks, Kurt. Listen, we've got some of those prayer requests, Tim, from Facebook. We do, Paul from Facebook. and Greg. Uh, we've had several people come on, uh, someone's son unemployed. Uh, someone needs a financial miracle. Uh, we have someone whose grandson has lost his way, and then someone that needs a dental miracle. These are all coming in on our Facebook page that people are believing God for. Praise God. All right, we want to get you back ministering to people and ministering the Word, Paul. Praise the Lord. Well, I want to just address this just quickly if I can. You know, you're going to spend time either or. So what we learned years ago from Sister Gloria was you got to spend time doing the right thing. <laughs> so I can spend time either worrying about these things or I can spend time, amen, exercising my faith, amen, for the outcome that I desire, that God desires to come to pass. So we're in agreement with you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You believe in for that financial break, you things, things are right lining up in the name of Jesus. Nothing to fear. God's got a plan plan for every single one of us. Amen. Things have to change. And we declare that change is coming to your house. For all of your families, for these different prayer requests, keep phoning in, keep asking, because I tell you, if you ask, you will receive. There's no doubt about it. We're two or three agree here. Touching anything is going to be done. It's going to be accomplished. And great shall be the testimony. I declare the testimonies yes. are coming to your house in the name of Jesus. Actually, I can hear a shout of victory. <laughs> Amen. From Amen. your house. Bye. Because over this next period of time, you're going to hear, I'm telling you, good news in the mighty name of Jesus. That, that word says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Praise the Lord. That testimony it. is so important. Yeah, you got to speak it. Right. Yeah. Right. I tell people all the time, guys, we always hear what you need us to pray for, but tell us what the <laughs> Lord did. Amen. amen. Because that, amen, encourages every single one of us. Praise the Lord. You've talked about the blood. Amen. I might just bring something quickly about the blood. Before that, I'd like to say this. Leonard Ravenhill said, when you're sitting in a dark room, you can either sit and curse the darkness or you can light a candle. Amen. So things are dark out there, but I tell you, where we sit, things are pretty bright. Yes. Amen. And I refuse to look at what is subject to change. Going into this this year, the Lord kept speaking to me the scripture from the book of Corinthians is that do not look at the things which are seen, but the things which are unseen. For the things which are seen are subject 
to mm. change. Amen. Everything that you see going on, now, even though there is a prophetic timeline, there is a prophetic you know, path that everything must work out. You have to understand for us, the church, everything is subject to change. God is not leaving us defense, defenseless. Amen. He's given us everything that we need, everything that pertains unto life and godliness. You must never forget that. God has equipped us. Come on, Ephesians 6. He's given us his armor. We've got the armor of light. We are not dying here just trying, my God, to do our best to get over this thing and just hope and pray that January comes quickly. Amen. My victory starts today. Amen. Come on. My victory starts today. I've heard so many people say, well, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I just believe this is going to go away with the election. In my house, it stops today, ladies and gentlemen. Amen. Why spend another? I love what Jesse preached years ago. You're going to spend another night with the frogs? No. Amen. Tonight, today is our day of victory. This is what this is all about. Amen. We're here. This is not a hype. This is not us just getting excited over just wonderful stuff. This is the power of Christ mm. that was given to us so that we could rule and reign, so that we could be the sons and the heirs of Jesus Christ. He gave us the power to become the sons of God. I mean, you didn't have to do nothing for that. He gave you the power to become a son. Amen. The moment that that happened, mm. you were transferred out of darkness. Yes. Amen. Transferred into the kingdom of his dear son. It's a scripture. We confess it all the time, but that's what has just become for so many, a confession. But where I live, it's my reality. I live in the kingdom of his dear son and his love. Me and Jesus are one. The glory of God is my reality. It's my existence. Amen. When I look at the view, I look at the view from the throne room of heaven. Why? Because I cannot pray from the earth. I have to pray from the throne room of glory. I am seated and clothed and in my right mind. And I declare that over you right now. Whether you're in the United States of America, whether you're in another nation around the world, God loves you wherever you are. And what God will do for this nation, he will do for your nation also. Ladies and gentlemen, God has got a plan. And you are where you are today because God placed you at a place that he needed to release himself through you. You are not there because you chose to be there. You are there because God needed you to be there. And that's why I say, you know, wherever I find myself, that's the best place to be because that's exactly where God needs me to be at that time and at that moment. I believe today that people's lives are changing. I believe today that if you listen to this, God can sweep through your home, through your car, through your living room, kitchen, workplace, wherever you are. God's breath can literally breathe a freshness. He can bring restoration and repair to you. The power of his blood, ladies and gentlemen, will literally surround you and clothe you in Jesus' precious name. If you believe that, shout a big amen. amen, amen like, come amen. on, this is being ministered right now, not just for the sake of ministry, but because God's compassion is reaching for you. you say, well, I haven't felt God in a long time. Whether you felt him or not, ladies and gentlemen, you are in him. He loves you. You are completely and utterly surrounded, saturated by his presence. Catherine Kuhlman said this, living with faith and courage is something that life requires of each of us. Never, absolutely never give up. Never give in, no matter what. Fight through, and I promise you something with all my heart, God will help you. Derek Prince said this, and this is my last little quote because I want a quote I want to speak to you from Hebrews 12. Derek Prince says this, we are the decisive factor in the affairs of the universe. We are the decisive factor in the affairs of the universe. You know, today, I believe that there is a message and you hear it from this place continually. It is a message of victory. When you listen to that message, it never lets you slip too far. Micah 7 verse 8 says that when I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord is my light. So even if you feel today that you're just holding on with your fingertips, at least you've got your fingertips still in the play, ladies and gentlemen. You're still in the game. Don't let the enemy ever think or let you, let you think that you're, that you're too far gone, that you've let it slip too far, that you've done so many terrible things. Oh, you know, over this COVID period, I've just let things slip. Hey, I'm telling you, you haven't went so far. You can't escape the grace of God, no, ladies can. and gentlemen. No, Amen. I'm telling you, I'm born again by the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God is my guarantee. And no matter how far I go, I'm still in God. Praise the Lord. Yes. I don't care how far I go, I'm still in God. And yes. you must never, ever, ever forget that in Jesus' precious name. But I was ministering the other night, and I was praying. 
And the Spirit of the Lord ministered to me, the blood still speaks. Now you might hear other people talk about this, but this came so loud in my spirit because I've been talking about the systems of this world are being shaken and things are being overturned. Remember what I said earlier, don't forget that the enemy is bringing destruction, but God is the repairer and he is the restorer. Do not get your eyes so focused on what's bad, negative, satanic. Get your eye off that mess. Get your eye on Jesus. Get your eye so firmly set on Jesus. Why? Because if he started you, he can finish you. Listen, if, if, if all we've got to look forward to now is the rapture, I'm in, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a view! What a view! Glory to God! Hey, Amen. we got to write this thing out, but I'm going to write it out in victory. I'm not running to the hills and the caves. Hey, Amen. God's got a plan. That's why we're here. Thessalonians says it, guys. Hey, Amen. That we are the restraining order in, of Jesus Christ, the church of Jesus Christ on the earth for such a time as this. Yes. Now, look at this in Hebrews 12, because I know we've only got a little bit of time. But Hebrews 12 talks about this in verse 18. It talks about entering God's presence. For we are not coming as Moses did to a physical mountain with its burning fire, thick clouds of darkness and gloom and with the raging whirlwind. We are not those who are being warned by the jarring blast of a trumpet and the thundering voice, the fearful voice that they beg to be silenced. They couldn't handle God's command that said, if so much as an animal approaches the mountain, it is to be stoned to death. The astounding phenomena Moses witnessed caused him to shudder with fear, and he could only say, I am trembling in terror. Now look at this in verse 22. By contrast, we have already come near to God in a totally different realm, the Zion realm. Yes. For we have entered the city of the living God, which is the new Jerusalem in heaven. We have joined the festal gathering of myriads of angels in their joyous celebration. And as a member of the church of the firstborn, that's us right there, yeah. a member of the church of the firstborn, all our names have been legally registered as citizens of heaven. And we have come to before God who judges all, who lives among the spirits of the righteous who have been made perfect in his eyes. And we have come to Jesus who established a new covenant with his blood sprinkled upon the mercy seat, blood that continues to speak from heaven. I want you to say that with me right now. His blood continues to speak. I want to ask you today, can you hear his voice? Because I tell you, there are things that are out there can hear the voice of the blood. God is a master at doing what he does. The blood is still speaking, ladies and gentlemen, and you must not cower in fear in this day and in this hour. I declare it in the name of Jesus that the blood has never lost its power and it's never lost its voice. And the blood is still speaking for each and every yes. one of you. And the enemy tries to come near your dwelling. The voice of the blood begins to speak in the name of Jesus. I believe that that blood can be heard. I believe the life is in the blood and I believe in the power of the blood right now. We'll say it again. No matter what's going on in your life, it is subject to change. No matter what's happening right now, that's why the prayers are standing ready to take your call. Because in times of distancing and isolation, they do not. We do not want you to be on your own. This is why this is so wonderfully, powerfully, you know, positioned by God right now. Because you are not on your own. And you must never allow the enemy to have you with this fixation that I am. Uh, I, um, I, I'm on, all on my own. You're not. Yes. We are with you. The Spirit of God is with you. The angels of heaven are with you. Something of a heavenly nature is taking place right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Come on, somebody. Shout a big amen. Yes. amen. I believe Something it with all my heart. Guys, right now, wherever you are, begin to release your faith. Begin to release. Amen. Even praying in the Spirit right now. Yes. Begin to lift that up. Begin to just rise right now. Amen. Come on. We're here to help you. This is like our very own prayer meeting right here here in your living room. Amen. Come on. God wants to shift that right now. And I hear that in the spirit that if you'll believe this, take this and activate within this, God will begin to shift things and align things. Don't forget, mountains are to be brought low. Valleys are to be raised up. Come on. Crooked places are to be made straight. You are not being held in an arm lock by the enemy. No. The enemy has nothing to do with you. You have been set free. You have been delivered. You have been transferred out. You are God's property. You are all God's 
gods. You never again will be the devils. You never again will be the worlds. The spirit of the world cannot take you. Why? Because you are filled with the spirit of Christ. The spirit of Christ lives within you, sealed in the name of Jesus. Today, we declare it, that God is manifesting himself mightily in your living room, kitchen, wherever you are. I declare it, even if you're commuting right now, your car is filling right now, <laughs> saturating with the presence of God. Just drive carefully. But I believe in the name of Jesus that God wants to shake some things right now. Come on. We are of a kingdom, and Hebrews 12 says, that cannot be shaken. But I tell you, this anointing that is operating now is shaking the system to the, uh, to the core. It is shaking this world to the core. What this world wants to do is shake the church to the mm, core. Yes. But the church is rising, and we're getting wiser to the satanic attacks and the satanic programs, these devilish enticements, this, 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 all of these different things, ladies and gentlemen. We're not buying the lie anymore. We're not taking that anymore. Why? Because the power that works within us now is shaking the systems of the world, amen, to the very core. Yes. You can see they're scrapping, they're fighting, they're trying to get their, you know, the word in here. They're trying to get a punch in here. But let me tell you, we are the victorious church and we fight by faith. It yes. is that faith, ladies and gentlemen, that overcomes every single thing, even the world. Today, in the name of Jesus, we declare it, that you do have a voice of victory, that you do have that spirit of victory in your home, in your children. I hear that from the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Even in the next generation and the next generation, some of you have been asking, what about my family? They don't necessarily believe what I believe. The Lord says, do not fuss and worry about that, for I am able to take care of what I said the blessing would be upon the third and the fourth generation. Do not worry about what your children have been listening to, because I will visit them, says the Spirit of the Lord, and you will see that they will turn around in a very quick moment of time. One day they will be talking one way, and the next day they will be talking right. Claim you will that. see this, ladies and gentlemen. Claim you cannot that. allow this in this time when everything that was right now it wants to look like it's wrong. And everything that is wrong now it wants to look like it's right. No, in the name of Jesus, I declare that the spirit of illumination is living and breathing in the inside of us. Your eyes are open. Yes. Amen. Your ears are unstopped. Yes. Your heart is receptive. Yes. You can do this, but I'm nothing, <laughs> Pastor. You are. Yes, you You're are. the child of God. Yes. And you have the <laughs> promise of the Father. Father, the promise of the precious Holy Spirit. What about that? God is a consuming fire. Finishes off Hebrews 12 just with a little check mark. I am a consuming fire. No matter what's going on, believe us, it's subject to change. You say, but you're the preacher, you're the pastor, you're the fire. No, listen. He ministered to the whosoever so that the whosoever could do whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're primed. You're positioned. Adopt the right posture for the hour that we live. That's so good. As we've come through what we've come through, just know Winston Churchill says that if you're going through hell, just keep on going. <laughs> Amen? There's light at the end of the tunnel. Today I declare that this is the day that the Lord has made and you will rejoice. That even as we come to a close, I declare that victory is yours. Father, I minister to every person right now, wherever they are, whatever nation, whatever continent. Father God, people hurting. I just declare that the healing balm of Gilead flows through these cameras, touches people every single place. Father God, where there's no hope anymore, bring that hope back. We take authority over that hopelessness. We declare, we declare peace that passes all understanding. We declare good company in the name of Jesus, so that you can build strong, a tower of God's strength and God's ability, God's love surround you, God's angels administering to you, administering for you. The same spirit of faith that we have. I believe, therefore I speak. Mm -hmm. What you're gonna say over this next period of time can make the difference between life and death, blessing and cursing. I believe that as you've heard this today, I believe that your life will change. With all the word, with everything that we've heard over all these years, just know that there's a seed in here somewhere of a message that you heard from this ministry that has the power to change your life forever. I sense this anointing so strong. Yeah, same man. I sense his love. Glory. Just wanting just to sweep around you, flow over you. 
Father, touch your people. Glory to God. Help them. You said that you sit in the heavens and you love. Mm -hmm. So, Father God, we thank you for a spirit of joy that comes upon those that have been depressed, those that have been heavy hearted, those that have lost loved ones. I declare, Father God, you're not the God of decrease. As I said, you're the God of increase. You're the God of more. And so, Father, I declare that you're the father to the fatherless. You're the husband to the widow. And Father God, you're the wife to that husband that has no one. We declare today, Father, generationally, Amen. we are blessed. Yes. We declare today that your anointing destroys yokes and removes burdens. Come on, just in this last couple of minutes, Lord. call in. Let us agree with you in prayer. Come on, they're standing ready, amen, to take your call. These people want to hear, amen, not only to hear, but we want to activate. We want to agree. We want to take authority over. We want to declare, decree in the name of Jesus that your life will never be the same again. Guys, we're not looking for doom. This is revival. This is awakening. Every time somebody shouted a pandemic, I said, this is an awakening unto God. <laughs> I would never allow them just to allow that pandemic. I would to just hang say, out this there. Yeah. is yeah. an awakening yeah. unto God. Hallelujah. I'll tell you were talking about a while ago, so we're in a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And my mind instantly went to the Apostle Paul. One of the darkest times, a viper hits him. And what did he do? He shook, shook it off. what was trying to shake the kingdom. That's such a Because the kingdom person. of God was in him. Paul, not too long back, I was allowing myself to get overcome. And I, I just, I went to the Father and I said, Dad, I don't, I don't know how to pray. I don't know whether to do prayer of agreement or prayer of faith. I don't know what prayer to do. And here's what I heard. Pray grace, come up to my place. Pray from where That's I'm at. Glory. Pray from where I'm at, from the position. That's what he's been talking to you about, is your position and who you are in Christ Jesus. You're stronger than you think you are. You're more anointed than you think you are. Here's what God does. He takes full-time ministers and he disguises them as school teachers and he places them in a school and he takes full-time ministers and disguises them as police officers and, and sticks them in a car somewhere. He takes full-time ministers and disguises them as whatever it is that you are. That's what you got to see yourself. You are here for such, such a time as this right now. 30 seconds, last thought or prayer. The greatest days of our life. That's all I can say. You know, people said, if I could live at another time, it would have been better. But I tell you, there's nothing better like the time you're supposed to be here. So don't wish your life away. Use the life that God has given you to bring glory to the Father. Yeah. The power of the Spirit will operate in and through you like you have never dreamed He would ever do. It's your life. Live it. It's worth living. Nice. And I tell you, the best has yet to come. Listen, I want to encourage you. Thank you, Pastor, wow. no, so much. It's my pleasure. We, we have been blessed Thank you for and enriched. Time. Where's this church? It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> Living Rivers Millennial Church, mtulsa.com. Continue to call the number on the screen. We're going to stay there. The phone ministers will be there, 877-281-6297. Okay, let's go out with a shout of victory. Let's go out with a song. David, take it out. How great. Oh God.